Today we're going to have a quick look at how I use the terminal together with Talon. So my preferred terminal is Windows Terminal and my preferred shell is Git Bash. Let me give you a quick demo first. Watch Talon log. Split down. Go Talon user. List. List long. Der Andreas. Tab. OK. Git status. Git diff. Terminate, quench, split right, go downloads, print dir, focus left, go parent, list, browse. So there you have some just average navigational and you know predefined commands like going to a directory, watching the Talon log. We have some Git commands, um, and the most things I do in terminal is those kind of things. I use Git and Maven and PM. I follow the Talon log and uh, you know do SSH to servers and that kind of thing. Uh, when it comes to actually managing files, I mostly use the file manager. Um, and let me show you how this is actually implemented in Talon. Focus code. Drowse. So we start with the Windows Terminal definition. So Windows Terminal is a terminal, of course. It supports tabs. It supports searching. And since I'm using Git Bash as my preferred shell, it's uh, a bash terminal. Uh, it has support for things like splitting and focusing the different splits, resizing the different splits. Uh, if we go over to my generic terminal definition, it says that all terminals are also file managers. That's what enables me to uh, do things like go downloads, go talon user, and so on. And then we have a bunch of different features like git, maven, npm, yarn, pip, and so on. Each of these different uh, features uh, then have a separate talon file, like here are all my you know, bash commands, uh, here are all my npm commands, my git commands, and uh, so on. Uh, the reason why git has a specific tag terminal is because all of these uh, git commands, or most of them, uh, I can also do in VS Code. So if I'm just working in VS Code, I will usually do git status, git pull, push, git tag, and so on in VS Code. And then I do some git stuff in terminal if I want to be a bit more fancy about it. Um, and that is basically my very simple implementation and demo of the terminal. If you find this interesting, please give me a comment and we can take uh, you know, a closer look at some specifics in the future. Take care. Stop recording.